Hi, this is Gaelic Mystic, and a lot of people have asked me about this. I got this on one of my travels. It is a petrified human skull, and I'm doing a little video of it so people can see it a little better. If you will look closely, one of the things I love about it the most is whether there should be cartilage in the nose. Once a person's physical shell disintegrates, that should be hollow, if you've ever seen a human skull. If you look closely, you can see that this is white quartz crystal, and you can tell that it's all one solid piece. This is one of my most purest, most beautiful, sacred objects that I have. I protect it and guard it with my everything. I am very blessed to have been given to this. Um, I have people, when I do shamanic healing around the world, have given me some of the most unique most sacred gifts, and I'm so unbelievably blessed. Um, I'm going to go down here, and you say, oh, this is just a feather. No, it's not. There was a blue jay who talked to me, guided me in a time of my life that I so desperately needed it. And then he picked this feather from his wing and gave me this. This is yellow quartz crystal, which I am very favor to the yellow quartz crystal. It has done a lot of healing and done a lot of different work for me. I gather it myself on my travels. And this is my Aura Chakra Cleansing water fountain with the crystal ball. When I plug it in, the water runs over the crystal ball and the, there's a light that changes the colors that represent all the different auras and chakras. And it is really good. It's, it's beautiful sound therapy, vibrational therapy, color therapy, and electrical energy therapy and this is another favorite object this is my natural limestone slash sandstone it's a mixture of the two you see the hole in there I use it as a natural instant burner I don't really care for what you get in stores and whatnot I'm scanning over here because I'm going to show you another thing this is another um, sandstone Geod in its natural state. I found this, okay, in one of my travels. Um, if you look, it's yellow and white quartz crystal. White quartz crystal is in the center of the phoenix. I was attracted to this and brought it back with me because it reminds me of the phoenix side profile as it's rising out of the ashes. And this has very special healing properties as well. Uh, NASA and other governments are beginning to understand the power of healing crystals and they're studying it and they're actually using it a lot. NASA, go Google how NASA uses crystals. I think you'd be rather impressed. This is my little itsy bitsy miniature Zen garden and um, I'll use it sometimes when I'm contemplating what I need to do. Uh, I help people in all kinds of things. I help people with aura cleansing, chakra cleansing. I make homopathic uh, healing oils and, and planta medicina. Um, I do soul retrieval, I do readings, I have all these different uh, decks, power decks, shaman decks, uh, totem decks, Celtic Druid deck, various uh, sacred geometry, synchronicity cards. What I do is so different, and I'm doing this video because so many people have asked you, you know, Celtic, what do you do? Well, this is what I do, and it's just a drop in the pond of what I do. I hope this has helped you answer a lot of the questions. It's easier than me trying to type it to each of you. Love, light, and many blessings, my family.